Good morning, everyone. So by raise of hands, how many of you exercise regularly? Oh, wow, quite a bit. Typically, it's about half, but I can see that um, you guys have uh, quite a bit more fitness ambition than the average individual. <laughs> so no matter what your fitness ambitions are, we all endeavor to exercise as effectively as this guy, right? Well, uh, but not exactly. uh, maybe, maybe not quite, but as close as we can legally get, right? <laughs> so perhaps Usain Bolt is a better example. So the technology that I'm going to introduce to you this morning is going to enable all of us to exercise as effectively as Usain. Now, I know that sounds like craziness, but in fact, it's true. But before I do that, we need to have a chat about sweat. So sweat has received a really bum rap over the years. It makes us uncomfortable, makes us sweat, makes us smell. But what a lot of people don't realize is that sweat has over 800 unique biomarkers that can give us feedback on such things as muscular exertion, fatigue, hydration level, and electrolyte balance, just to name a few. The problem is that when you go to Best Buy, every single wearable that's out there can only do one of two things. It can either measure steps or heart rate, and that's it. There is nothing else. They are literally stuck in the Stone Age because they have no ability to sense those biomarkers. There is no chemical sensing capability. Electrozyme, and, which is my company, has come up with two key innovations that allow us to break this barrier. Number one is the fact that we've been able to synthesize biosensors that exhibit chemical selectivity towards those biomarkers. An example is right here on the skin. Number two, and the real kicker here, is the fact that we have been able to print these biosensors on screen printers. And I'll get a little bit more into that. So we can achieve very low cost, very high volume. Each of those biosensors is less than 10 cents. Essentially, it's a printed circuit board. The beauty of the technology is that to access these biomarkers, we don't even require a single drop of blood. It's all non-invasive. So the idea is to augment the current information content given to you by conventional physical sensors with added dimensions of rich chemical information that can be used to augment your workout and for you to gain insight into the metabolic implications of your physical activity. So how does this work? I should have convinced you that your sweat has a plethora of biomarkers. We've been able to print and design biosensors with surfaces that are selective towards those chemical biomarkers. And through our innovations in electrochemistry, we can translate those biomarkers into either voltages or currents that can be read out in a wearable device. That's the approach. Now, here's one of my colleagues out for a run on a beautiful San Diego day. You know, what is information that he'd find relevant? The first one is lactate. So lactate is considered the gold standard in assessing your muscular exertion fatigue. It's so valuable if you talk to high-performing athletes, they'll go once every few months to a lab and get their blood drawn to get this value. What it's telling you is really when you're about to bonk out, when you're about to hit the limits of the physiological capabilities of your body. It's a byproduct of your energy metabolism. So knowing this value in real time will allow you to tell when you can push harder or when you're really over the edge and you need to take a step back to reduce your pace. We can also measure electrolytes. So electrolytes is the reason why Gatorade makes a billion dollar <laughs> business on selling a salt water. So our sensors can not only tell you when it's time to drink, but how much to drink and what you should be drinking. Should you be drinking water or should you be drinking a sports drink? And I have a little bit of insight for you. If you are exercising for less than 45 minutes to an hour, drinking water is fine. If you're engaged in workout for longer than that, then you should start thinking about transitioning to a sports drink. The last one is ammonia. And ammonia really has the widest appeal because most people, when they go into the gym, 
they want to lose weight and build muscle. Ammonia is going to be able to tell you really, am I burning carbohydrates, am I burning fat, or am I in fact breaking down muscle? So we can tell it right there, and you get that in real time directly to your mobile device. So let's take a closer look at our app. So this is how our app stands. We designed, we designed our app to be quite intuitive. So it really resembles a car dashboard. In the center is your lactate meter or your tachometer. So you know in your car, if you rev your engine too high into the red zone, to the red line, you know you're gonna be limiting the lifetime of your engine. So where you really wanna be positioning this needle is right below that red zone. That will optimize your performance, ensure caloric expenditure, make sure that you are performing to your optimal level. When that needle goes into that red zone, basically you go anaerobic, and no matter how much you will it, you won't be able to complete your race or your 45 minute workout or so forth. On the left hand side is electrolytes. That's likened to a car battery. So obviously it's important to be fully charged. You get that readout right here. And on the right is your fuel gauge or your hydration meter. So the reason why hydration is important is actually a 5% reduction in hydration has been clinically shown to correspond to a 30% reduction in performance. And I know we're all accustomed to the old adage that you know you should be drinking eight glasses of water per day. Well, in fact, that's not correct. It really depends on you as the individual, the climate conditions in which you're living in, uh, your age, your physical activity, among many other variables. So how is this worn? So before you go into your workout, you take our smartwatch, you put in one of our printed biosensors on the back side, and this re relays the results in real time over a Bluetooth low energy link directly to your smartphone. It's real time, it's salient, it provides you up-to-date information, and the beauty of this is the fact that you can throw away the sensors when you're done. They're low cost, they're disposable. So why is hydration important? Well, most Americans, in fact, the overwhelming quantity of Americans will say that hydration is important as a way of life and it's important to be healthy. Um, other ones will say that it's important from a medical perspective. And then those in certain industries, such as firefighters, construction workers, recognize that being hydrated throughout their uh, day is, of course, important. This is evidenced by the fact that over $12 billion has been spent on bottled water in the U.S. alone last year. So, you know, why is physical activity monitoring important? So, Remember how I asked you to raise your hand and it's usually about half of all individuals? About half of the people realize that exercise and physical activity is very important in order to live a healthy life. This is evidenced by the fact that Americans spent over $300 million on those fitness tracking devices that I showed you earlier. How do we make these? So, I mean, this is a fairly fancy occasion. I don't see anybody with those uh, T-shirts that have those nice screen printed patterns. We use screen printing to make our sensor, the exact same process. The only difference is we use specialized inks to print out our biosensor. So the way it works is we first print down a conductor, we put it in an oven or we cure it with UV light, we then deposit an active layer, typically a carbon that's dispersed with our uh, selective elements. We cure it again or expose it to UV light. And then we print an insulator layer that's inert that confines all but the working electrogeometry. And that's it. We have our sensor. So how is this made? This is made on really high throughput screen printing machines in very large volumes. I have a sheet right here for you to actually see. So all that's required is for an operator to enter a few parameters into those computers. They then insert the blank sheet and they get tens of thousands of sensors in terms of throughput per hour. You can see someone loading on the ink onto the stencil there. So pretty sophisticated machine. So just to wrap up, 
I want you all to come away from this talk recognizing that sweat equals knowledge <laughs> equals corrective action. This really provides you with added dimensions of information that you can use to your benefit to maximize your performance, to make sure that when you go into the gym, you're really performing at your best. And when you're away, that you're exercising like a professional like Usain by knowing your lactate, your electrolytes, and your ammonia. And with that, I will close. <laughs>